Imagine if your toilet could do all the work for you. So no more toilet paper, no more deodorizer, it washes you really thoroughly, it's warm to sit on, it even dries you, and it removes almost all the bad smells almost straight away, almost perfectly. This thing is really awesome. Just unboxing the Kogan toilet. Some of the things that it's got. It looks pretty cool. Alright, so this is pretty much everything in the package. I'm gonna start off with this, and then put on the brackets, and eventually it took like an hour or so to get this all installed. Got it's the LED, yeah. The problem is, I don't know if you can see that, there's like a centimeter gap on that side. So when you sit on it, it's like, just a bit worried it might crack, eh? Also, this falls down because it's on a bit of a slope and I can't bring it forward any further, otherwise it's too far forward. But that's pretty much it. Soft closing. I think it's jammed up. And we're on to the connecting up the, the water now. So got that water hooked up now. And we're just sort of <laughs> where we can put this the power. We don't want it to get wet. It's a little, a little bit of a makeshift job getting an extension cord out there. But we might build something somewhere and we are done it's working all fine the little rope hanging that there it'll never fall um, so that's on good the LED lights there put the remote over here I, I really should have got someone to record me using it just now it's it's awesome so far so good here we go. Six weeks later. I love this thing. I would give it a 10 out of 10. It's actually perfect. I never thought that I would feel excited just to use my toilet every single time I need to go, especially for me. There's still a few other people in the house that use it, they really like it as well. But for me, I'm pretty sure I'm lactose intolerant and unfortunately my favorite food is still dairy. So I could spend anything from 10 to 20 minutes or more at a time depending on what I've had. I should probably stop that maybe one day. So there were a few cons to this and the only cons were in the instruction manual actually when you set it up. So I might just be an idiot. But this one thing that really confused me, thanks to my friend who helped me out, connect the grounding wire with a product to prevent electric discharge or electric shock. I completely forgot, first of all, that in New Zealand at least, the third prong on the bottom is the grounding wire. And this made it seem like you had to do, like even the picture, I don't know if you can see that. It says that you have to get a professional to install it, so maybe this is for Australia or somewhere else, but you didn't have to do this at all. The other thing that wasn't very clear, and that actually wasn't correct, was connecting the inlet pipe. It was saying that you needed to take out the clip from the connector of the T-valve. We could see like little clip things in there, and we did try to pull it out, but it wasn't budging, and we're thinking you shouldn't have to use that much force. But in our case, all we had to do was just put it in. You couldn't pull it back out. You can ignore that part, unless again, I just misunderstood what it was saying but other than those two things that were in the instruction with the toilet itself obviously the hardest part is going to be the power plug so with most toilets there's not obviously going to be a power socket anywhere nearby so you can see that I had to put it through the window it's a little bit dodgy but ours is a veranda so it's never going to get wet it's all we can do really unless we put it under the door which would have been in the way as well You're just gonna have to find your own way around that unless you get it installed but that was the cheapest best way we could do it for ours so this thing has a bunch of different settings. You can change the heat of the toilet seat from 33, 36 or 39 degrees. And we've always got it on the highest temperature. Really nice. Some people find that weird, but I like to just sit down and nice and hot. And it's smart too. So I think it turns off after about 10 minutes while you're sitting on it so that you don't get low degree burns. The water temperature can be changed from those three settings as well. I've again got that on 39 degrees. When you first use it, it gives you a bit of a fright. 33 is a little bit too cold. It feels like room temperature water, but it's a 
little bit colder than that, or at least for me. And 36 is like, oh yeah, it's warm, but... Uh, yeah. but 39 it's quite hot you almost want it to be in between 36 and 39 but you do get used to it and with 39 degrees the first few seconds it'll release some water because it'll be obviously a bit cold and you don't want to get shocked the first second is like slightly room temperature and then after that it goes nice and hot and then you can change the pressure of the water as well so that's huge you've got five settings there you might want to obviously just start on the lowest level one level five is really strong it's really really strong but you can play around that whenever you want it's got a remote and it's also got buttons on the actual seat itself just four basic buttons that's all you really need if the remote goes flat and you want to use it the dryer too you can change the power or i guess the heat of the dryer i always have that on the max it's a good heat it can also wash you from the front for women that's pretty much it. If you want to save money on the toilet paper and deodorizers, I don't think I could go anywhere else, use any other toilet unless it's got this thing on it. I love this thing. Yeah. 